Hey guys, welcome. We've got a strength focused class today. We're gonna to be doing an upper body workout to include our chest, shoulders, back, arms. Um, we're also going to get some core work. So this is a strength focused workout. Heart rate will be kind of somewhere in the middle. We're not focusing on cardio today. Um, things that you'll need will be things that you definitely have around home. So uh, you'll need a large towel today and a chair okay um you'll need a spot where you'll be able to loop your towel around something sturdy i'm going to demonstrate how to do that with a chair but if you have like a railing like i do out here on the deck or a beam or something like that that would work go ahead and use that as well i just want to show how you can make this happen with something like a a light chair um, let's get a little warmed up. I just want to stretch out the upper body. So we're going to start off with some windmill arms. Let's just take your right here and think big circles all the way around. Get your shoulders loosened up and take it back. Bring it into that big back stroke. Maybe slow it down a little bit here. This is going to start to stretch into your chest and still those shoulders as well. Get a couple more. And now reach both arms way up, take them up. And I want you to think about climbing it here. So we're gonna go back and forth and feel that stretching right underneath your arms through your side body. Let's get four, three, two, one. I want you to keep that same idea. We're gonna be reaching forward, okay? And feel that separating your shoulder blades. So stretching out your upper back. We're gonna reach, 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 reach. So I feel that just pulling lightly throughout my upper back. Get a couple more on each side. All right, so simple chest stretch. All we're gonna do is take the arms wide and keep them wide. Get a little bit of a bend in your elbows and just keep reaching the arms back until you feel that stretching out right in here. So we're stretching out the chest. Just hold it. Take a couple deep breaths. Let's take both hands up again. I do want to stretch out our back a little bit here. So we're just going to roll it down. Let yourself reach down towards the floor so you're lengthening through your spine. You can feel that stretch go through your lower back. You'll definitely feel it in your hamstrings as well. Relax your head and neck. And now come up away from that floor a little bit and just let yourself hang here. Take a little rock from side to side. Let your arms just kind of hang loose and follow. All right, pause back at center and let's bring it up. Okay guys, we're gonna get started. Um, we are starting with, you know, it's very, uh, very little equipment today, so there's gonna be a push up in there um, of some form and that's where we're gonna get started, okay? So today we're starting with an alternating wide and narrow push up and we're gonna be walking between those two, okay? You can take these at all different levels. If you want um, to make it as challenging as possible, you're gonna start in a high plank position. You can also take these from a kneeling plank position, or you could take your hands to an elevated surface, like a counter or even the wall, instead of placing them on the floor. That would, would scale back the intensity quite a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I mean. We're taking these at a controlled pace. I don't want you dropping to the floor. I want you to take it down, kind of a slow motion trip to the floor, keeping core engagement all throughout. So for that wider push up, we're taking the hands a little bit, well, quite a bit wider than the shoulders. Um, you can turn your fingers out if that feels better. We're gonna let the elbows go kind of at an angle back in this one, not straight out but think about like an upside down V shape that your arms would be creating when you go down in this one. So I'm gonna show you. So we've got it wide, we're gonna take it down, press up, then we're gonna walk one hand in. Now we're going to a narrow push up. Okay, narrow push up 
You are keeping your elbows in. You're gonna think about grazing the side of your ribs with your elbows. So those elbows stay tucked in. You're gonna press back up, take it back out to your wide push-up, one wide. Then you'll walk that other hand in. We'll take our narrow push-up right there. We're gonna take these nice and slow. We're only taking 10. I'm gonna start up high. I'll take it to a knee if and when I need to. Um, and I suggest you do the same. Do what's gonna help you get that full form, okay? So getting close to the ground. All right, guys, let's bring it up. You're in your starting position and we're in a wide push-up, okay? Let's take it down, down, press up, walk it to narrow. Down, down, press up, take it wide. Down, down, press, come to narrow. Down, down, Press, take it wide, down, down, press, walk narrow, down, down, press, take it wide, down, down, press to narrow, down, down, press and wide. Lower it down with control, push it back up, back to narrow, we've got two more, lower it down and press, take it wide, down and press take it back one more narrow here down and press hey guys that's our push-ups in between we're going to be doing an exercise for our upper back which you really got to try to get into when you don't have um, traditional gym equipment with pulleys or heavy weights okay so this is the one where if you have a beam or a pole just use that, okay? But if you don't, you're gonna get a chair and here's where we're headed, okay? Practiced this earlier, I can't remember which way I went, but I do know it worked. So here's where we're headed. I did recommend a larger towel for this, okay? You're gonna bring it around and you're taking a seat, okay? So you can tell right here, if you're familiar with using like a seated row setup or a rower, okay, kind of in a similar spot, um, but where are you gonna go, okay? You're really not gonna go anywhere. This is an isometric exercise, meaning we're gonna get into that engaged state and then we're just holding it. So the area I want you to concentrate on pulling from is gonna be that space between your shoulder blades, your upper back. So you're thinking about drawing that area together. We'll hold it for about five seconds and then we're just gonna release it and then we'll go again. Okay, so this is where you've gotta make sure, um, I tried this earlier, I wanted to make sure my chair wasn't gonna like flip up on me and it didn't, but I definitely was really aware of how I was placing my feet and how I was um, how I was creating that pressure, okay, and that tension pulling back. So here's where we're going. I've got a good grip on my towel. I've got a good solid placement of my feet. We're gonna pull, so right here I'm engaging, my spine is long, I'm squeezing together, primarily between my shoulder blades. Hold three, two, one, and relax it. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. I felt like I probably needed it closer to in line with my chest in that area that I'm trying to work. So adjust if you need to as well. Okay, again, test it. Make sure your chair is not gonna fly back on you. I think we're good. Let's pull it here and we're breathing. We're engaged for five, four, three, two, one. Relax it, we're going right back to it. Pull and hold it. Breathe five, four, three, two, one, relax for just a second. You've got two to go, two to go. Pull it here. Five, four, three, two, one. We've got one more, guys. Let's pull, hold it. Still holding. After this, we're gonna flip over. We're setting right back up for a round of push-ups. Okay, release it, flip over, okay? So I'm gonna show you from the side this time. I'm doing the same thing I'll talk us through wide and narrow okay so let's start out with our hands wide 
and nice and controlled. So we're keeping that core engaged. I'm not gonna jerk through my hips. Let's bring it down, press up, take it to narrow. Down, press up, take it wide. Down, press, narrow. Down, press, 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 wide. Things happen out here. It's a windy day. Let's go back. I think you probably finished yours by now. If not, get your last one, flip it over. We're going back to our, yep, we're good. Back to our row right here, okay? So we're sitting tall, okay? Let's get it long through the spine. Remember where you're trying to engage. Let's pull. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one, release it, and pull. Five, four, three, two, one, release, pull. Five, four, three, two, one, release, pull. Five, stay tall. Four, three, two, one, release. Last one here. Pull five, four, three, two, one, and release it down. Okay, guys, let's get ready. We're taking our last round here. One more round of those push ups. Okay, let's get ready in our high position, starting in wide. Okay, and take it down, press, take it to narrow, down. Press wide, down, press to narrow, down, press to wide, down, press, walk to narrow, down, press to wide, down, press to narrow, down, press to wide, two to go, down, press, walk narrow, last one, down, and press. Okay guys, let's set up for this last one here with our row, right? Okay. We're gonna make it count. So with exercises like this, you've gotta keep in mind you're getting out of it as much as you're putting into it. You determine how hard you pull, okay? Let's get tall and pull it back. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let's pull five, four, three, two, one, relax, pull, five, four, three, two, one, relax. We're gonna get two more. Pull five, four, three, two, one, relax, last one. Pull five, four, three, two, and one. Okay guys, we're moving on. Um, what we're gonna do next, you will need to bring your chair back upright if you flipped it over. Um, you can also do these at a step if you'd prefer. Okay. Um, got real breezy out here. Sorry, I almost lost you. Well, I kind of did lose you. All right, guys. So first thing we're gonna do is a tricep extension. Um, this is where we're using our chair, okay? Like we did with our narrow push-up, we're keeping our elbows narrow. They should be going back, not out, okay? Try to graze the side of your body with those elbows. You'll need to start your hands narrow to make that possible, really, okay? So you're gonna take a seat either on your chair or on your step. Take your hands about hip distance apart, and then you're taking yourself away from that chair or your support. Now, you can go straight legs, putting 
most of that weight into your upper body or keep some bend in the knees and keep some weight out here, giving you a little bit of an assist. Okay, we're taking these controlled. We're gonna lower down, press back up. So your elbows should not come over your shoulders. Okay, that's my tip on that. Come down slowly and press. Lower down, push up. We're going for 10. Down and press, three. Down, four. Down, five. Down, six. Down, seven. Down, eight. Down, nine, last one. And 10. Okay, we're gonna walk back over to our mat for this next one. We're doing a hollow hold walkout, okay? So where we're gonna start this one is from a plank position. So take your hands right under your shoulders, extend the body back. You can also go kneeling plank on this, okay? This is gonna be kind of our stopping point, um, our resting point, really. So where we're headed, we're gonna walk the hands forward, find a hollow hold here, so I'm pulling my belly in, kind of creating a curve through my entire body from my hands, up through my spine, back down to my heels, and then we're gonna take those baby steps back to a plank, okay? Um, like I said, you can do this one kneeling, so that would be starting from that kneeling plank, my hips are out of the air, I'm gonna walk my hands forward, find that hollow hold here, and then we'll walk it back, okay? We're gonna be doing three of the, these with the hold, okay? Let's set it up. You're in a kneeling or a high plank. Small steps, walk it out. Find your hollow, hold neutral neck. Breathe here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it back up to your plank. Pausing here for one breath, deep breath in and out. Walk it back forward. Find your hollow hold, and we're holding here. And something I like about this hollow hold, especially for a workout like today's, is that we get into our upper back. You should be feeling this underneath your armpits. We're working those lats and our core. Walk it back. We're in high. Last second here. And come back out to your hollow hold. Last time for now, breathe and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk it back up and set down. Okay, so that's a sneaky one. Okay, let's take it back to the chair. That's what we're doing. We're gonna take it controlled, but moving right along through two more sets here. Then we've got our last two exercises and that's it. Hands are ready. Bring yourself slightly forward. Let's lower down and press for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we should feel our shoulders, we should feel those triceps burning, and we've got more of it. So this is the spot I was talking to, talking about when we're in our hollow hold. We're engaging through our belly, but also very much right through here. Let's set it up, same deal. We've got three with holding, kneeling or high, get in your plank, and small steps. Walk it out to your hollow hold. Stay right there and breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Carefully walk it back up. One breath here, deep breath in. And let it out. Take it back out. Find your hollow hold. And hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, walk it up, 
deep breath in and out. Walk it forward, hollow hold. Breathe here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it up, one breath and release. Guys, let's finish this set and we'll get our last two, okay? Whew. All right, so let's get nice and tall along through that spine. We're gonna keep that length, hands to the chair, lift yourself off and forward. And here we go, lower down and press one, down, two, three, keep breathing. Four, try to inhale down, exhale up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, Woo. let's take it to our last hollow hold. Bring it down, we're almost there. All right, start in your plank, lift up and walk your hands forward, find your hold, and breathe eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, small steps back to your plank, deep breath in, let it out, come back forward, hollow hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, small steps back, inhale, exhale, last time, bring it forward, find that hollow hold, and breathe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, walk it back, and release, okay guys, so we're moving on, um, for this last one, you can do this um, standing or kneeling. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Um, I call it, I call this a ripper, um, which when you're doing an exercise, I don't know how that makes me feel, but um, it's safe. It's very much like that row we did earlier in that the amount of resistance you create is entirely up to you, okay? So for this ripper, I'm gonna have you take your towel and, or if you had a strap, like a yoga strap, that would work nice here too. Um, you're gonna take it right in front of your chest. Now, you could start hand shoulder width, and then I want you to take, it's a little hard with this big towel, but it works. Um, so anyways, I took my hands about another three inches uh, wider on each side. All we're gonna do here, slight bend in the elbows. It's a ripper. I'm gonna, uh, I'm trying to pull that towel apart. I'm working hard. Doesn't look like much, but I'm feeling it. Ooh, there's a bug. Three, two, one, and relax. Bumblebee. I don't think they sting, but pretty sure they don't. All right, guys, so that's what we're doing. We're doing five of them. Have your towel ready. You can be kneeling or standing. Bring it up, it's as high as your chest. Pull it apart. So what we're getting here, we're getting our rear delts. That's the back of your shoulders, okay? You're gonna feel it in those lats again. We're getting into the upper back. And relax, okay? Pull it apart right here. Breathe in, hold five, four, three, two, one. Relax it right down. We've got three more, bring it up, pull apart, five, four, three, two, one, relax, bring it down, right back up, and pull five, four, three, two, one, relax, down, last one, bring it up, and pull apart for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, guys. We are coming onto, um, we're coming into a side plank. We're gonna take this on the elbows and we're doing some oblique dips, okay? So we're lining up our elbow under our shoulders and then everything else follows in a straight line here. So 
get your legs back on that line okay let's lift up shoulders right over that elbow my head is supported we're gonna lower slowly tap and lift for five down lift up four three two last one you're gonna flip over take it around line up on the other side straight line elbow under the shoulder and then we'll bring it up so right here and let's lower down lower slowly and lift for five four think about pulling hips away from the floor three two last one okay so those are our last two exercises let's take our final two rounds and you'll be done with this workout all right so walk those hands a little bit wider okay about six inches wider total then width of my shoulders here okay let's pull it apart and breathe for five four small bend in those elbows two one slowly float it down right back up and pull it apart for five four three two create that tension one lower down up pull five four three two one lower down and up pull apart five four three two one last time here lower down bring it up pull apart five four three two and one all right guys so we're going back to it let's bring it into our forearm plank um i'm sorry our our forearm side plank okay and let's get right up there okay with control lower down tap the hip draw it up five four three two one flip sides elbow under the shoulder straight line here lift up and let's take it down lower and lift for five four three two and one okay guys grab your towel last time through these bugs are out today all right so we're ready kneeling or standing both are good get a good grip on your towel bring it to chest height pull it apart five four three two one relax lower down up right away pull it here five four three two one lower down and up five four three two one down and up five four three two one down and up last time guys pull five four three two and one okay set that towel to the side let's get our last round of our oblique dips you should be feeling your shoulders a lot. We got a really nice back workout, especially for not having a ton of equipment. Let's bring it up and down with control. Bring it down, five, pull those hips up, four, three, two, hold it up this time. Lift, 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 three, two, one, and flip it over last time here line it up sorry bug okay and bring it up hips high let's do it down and up five four three two we're